Shalom, children. Our story begins today in a village on the north shore of Galilee called Kephar Nahum. This area was the land given to the tribes of Zebulun and Naphtali and their descendants. Many years earlier, the prophet Yeshayahu had prophesied, saying, The people who were walking in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of the shadow of death, a light has shone. This prophecy came to be when Yeshua moved there, teaching the people, saying, Repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. We continue our journey through the life of Yeshua when it was the Sabbath day. Many were at the local synagogue, including Yeshua and his taught ones. He went up to the front to teach the people. His message and the way he spoke was astonishing. They had never heard other teachers of the Torah speak with such understanding and authority. A man who had an unclean spirit was also in the synagogue that day and started to yell out. He shouted, Leave us alone! What have we to do with you, Yeshua of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the set-apart one of Elohim. Yeshua rebuked him, saying, Hold your peace. Come out of him. At once the unclean spirit yelled out and caused the man to thrash around. Then it left the man. Well, the people were astonished. They had never seen someone have such authority over unclean spirits before. Everyone in the Galilee region heard all about the incredible incident. Afterwards, Yeshua, Shimon and Andrew, Yaakov and Yohanan left the synagogue and headed over to Shimon's house. When they got there, they found Shimon's wife quite upset. You see, her mother was sick in bed with a terrible fever. Yeshua took the sick lady's hand and immediately the fever left. Indeed, she felt so much better that she got up and served Yeshua. It was a good thing that she was feeling all better, because that evening her house was very, very busy. The people had brought those who were diseased and those who were possessed by unclean spirits to come and see Yeshua in the hope that they would be healed too. The entire village was gathered at the door to see what would happen. When Yeshua put his hands onto the sick, they were healed. And when he put his hands on those who had unclean spirits, many demons left, shouting, You are the Messiah, the son of Elohim. The next morning, before the sun had even risen, Yeshua left Kephar Nahum to find somewhere he could pray alone. You know, children, it can be very hard to have quiet thoughts and pray to Elohim when there are lots of things going on around us. When I pray, or when I simply want to think about how wonderful Elohim is, I like to close my eyes so nothing distracts me from focusing on the good things of Adonai. Yeshua was having his quiet time with the Father when Shimon and the other taught ones found him. Everyone wants you, they said. But Yeshua told them that he must go and preach the kingdom of Elohim in other villages too, for this is the reason why I was sent. So Yeshua went all around the villages of the Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and preaching the good news of the kingdom. 
He continued healing many who were sick and commanding unclean spirits to leave those who were afflicted by them. People living as far away as Syria heard all about Yeshua, and they too brought their sick to be healed by him. Many people from the area of Galilee, Dekpolis, Yerushalayim, Yehuda, and beyond the Yarden River followed him. Well, children, that is the end of our story for today. So we will see you next time for another exciting journey in the life of Yeshua. Shalom. Patiently waiting for an answer from Yahweh Until my surprise you heard my cry and you came to me You pulled me out of the pit where I was slipping in the clay Set my feet on a rock, I know I'm here to stay there's a new song in my heart, there's a new song in my mouth, many will see and many will trust Yahweh. There's a new song in my heart, there's a new song.